Hey, what's happening everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Target exclusive Commander Apo from the Kenobi television show. So this version of Apo does not have any distinct markings on him, you know, because in the Clone Wars, he had that little arrow on his head. And we've also seen him decked out in his full Phase 2 gear. This is pretty much just a straight up 501st Phase 2 clone. I think it looks good. I mean, this is kind of how we saw him in Revenge of the Sith until he was wounded on that landing pad by Padawan Zet Jukasa. But I think this looks great. I mean, I think this is pretty accurate to what we saw in Kenobi. Now, I don't know which clone Apo was in Kenobi. I don't know if he was the one closest to Anakin. I have no idea, but I am very happy with how this looks. And of course, this comes in the windowed galaxy packaging. So glad. But you got Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through the window, you can see Apo comes with a helmet, and he also comes with a DC-15A blaster rifle and the DC-15 carbine. Here we have Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi and Commander Apo. On this side of the box, the front window wraps around, and there's the side with artwork. Very nice picture. I like this a lot. In the background, you can see the interior of the Jedi Temple. That's pretty sweet right there. Love the blue for Kenobi. There's a small window on the top, and on the bottom, you got the barcode, some mouse print, and some logos. And there's the back of the box. You get the same picture as the side. You got a short bio in five different languages. Apo's number 14 in this Kenobi line, and you have some more mouse print down there. And I'll just read the bio. It just says, A clone trooper in service to the Galactic Republic, Apo participated in several critical battles against the Separatist. He accompanied Anakin Skywalker to Coruscant's Jedi Temple as part of Order 66. All right, I'm going to get Commander Apo open, and let's take a look at him. Okay, so here is Commander Apo out of the box. And let me start by saying, I have not been able to put this guy down. This figure is so much fun. It is so stinking poseable. It's very close to the previous clone body that we've seen. And you know that one's fantastic, but they did make some adjustments on this one. So you could call this the 2023 clone body, but uh, this figure's so good. But let's take a close look at the face first. And I like this. I mean, there's a picture of Apo. I think the eyes look good, the nose, the mouth, the skin tone, the hair. I mean, it's a typical clone hairdo. And they even put some, like, scars on him. There's something there. There's a little bit of stuff going on on his forehead. There's a little something right there. Great-looking face. And up close, I mean, the eyes just look wonderful. I mean, they did well here. But from the neck down, it's clone armor. We've seen it before. This little black there is nice. It's a pretty cool shade of blue. It's a little bit different from the other 501st blue that we have on the shelf, but it's fine. It's fine. Now on the back, they did paint that. That's a nice touch. With the belt, you know, you got a couple of little black things there that look good. These stripes look good. The little stripe on the knee guard there looks nice. Some blue there. That's a good looking clone body. I mean, from, from head to toe. I am super happy with this figure. And if you want to compare blues, so I just grabbed the 332nd just because it's easy. It's right up front. Yeah, the one from Kenobi is much lighter. But I did go back and I found some, you know, some screenshots and I just watched that part of the show. And it is much lighter in Kenobi. And the fact that this is marketed as a Kenobi figure, I'm fine with it. I mean, these two guys are not going to be side by side on the shelf, I don't think. And if you want to compare it to the Archive 501st, same deal. The Kenobi version is much lighter. Yeah, this is a great shade of blue. And as far as articulation, it is very similar to the previous clone body. But you do have some excellent range in the head. I mean, he's super mobile up top. The arms are a little bit different. So the shoulder pads this time are on a ring. And they will actually move with the arm. I love that. He's got some excellent butterfly joints in there. But they changed to an upper bicep swivel. That's different. I like it. Uh, the elbows are very good. They get past 90. He's got some very good crunch, very good back. Oh, he's got some very good up and down hinges on both hands. Love that. Now back to midsection. Crunch, swivel, and some back. The legs go pretty far out. He has, you know, the same thigh swivel. They go back a little bit. Now for knees, so they move the knee pad here. And this knee pad is like floating. Okay, so you can move it there if you want to. But you can also have it on the knee, which is just wonderful okay that is like a floating knee pad now so that is a huge plus he's got a swivel at the knee feet go down they go up and there is some swivel so the articulation you know just like previous clones like this one i think the articulation is excellent and for accessories i'll just start with the helmet and i do love the look of this the blue stripe up the center with the little fin there looks fantastic the visor looks good the black line around it, I think, is very straight, very clean. 
All this in here looks good. The mouth grill, all this is very nice. The blue on the sides, that little bit there. Very cool looking helmet. I am very pleased with this one. And let's see how it goes on Apo's head. There we go. Just pops right on. Okay. That's an awesome looking trooper right there. And as far as blasters, I'll start with the DC-15A, the long heavy blaster rifle. It's just like the ones we've seen before. It's just cast all in one color. It's fine. It's a cool sculpt. Very cool rifle, and I like it. And there's Apo with the DC-15A, just in a relaxed stance, and I think that looks nice. And there he is more at a ready stance with the head kind of tilted down a little bit. That looks awesome. And there he is with the blaster down low, just firing. And I do like the look of that. I think the wrist hinge really helps. The butterfly joints are good. This upper bicep swivel is surprisingly good. I like it. And it's a cool pose. And there he is with the rifle up higher with the stock on his shoulder. And this is pretty impressive. You know, just like the previous clone, this is easy to do, but this upper bicep swivel is nice. So he can get the rifle right up next to his head like he's practically aiming right down the sight and... I do love the look of this. And something that's kind of cool, so they gave Apo a trigger finger on the left, and on the box art they have him as a lefty. So you can pose him left-handed like this with the rifle all the way up to the shoulder. This is cool. And moving on to the DC-15 carbine. Again, we've seen this before many, many times with clone troopers. Same sculpt, same blaster, just all one color, but I like it. And here's a shot of Apo with the DC-15 carbine in a relaxed stance. And there he is at a ready stance. And there he is firing low. This looks good. And because of this excellent wrist hinge, upper bicep swivel, butterfly joint, you can get this blaster up here, just like the heavy blaster rifle. And this is just incredible. And you can just roll this bicep swivel up and you can get the blaster all the way up here. I mean, this is just, it's just nice. I mean, you can get it all the way up to his eye. I mean, <laughs> just really cool. And once again, if you want to make him a lefty, no problem. This. <laughs> This figure is so poseable. And real quick, there he is kneeling with the knee pad on the ground, on his knee. That's a nice feature. I mean, this looks really good. And this, you know, the fact that they can float. This one over here, you can move if you want it, you know, more there. Or you can scoot it up to where it's like, like covering his knee. That looks good. This is really slick how they did this. I'm happy. All right, so we know the figure looks good. He holds the weapons well. But let me just say real quick that this figure feels different. It feels a little more soft and rubbery compared to the 332nd. This plastic is a lot harder. This is much softer. It has a totally different feel to it, and I like it. It's much more flexy. I mean, it's just a really nice clone body. Very happy with how this trooper turned out as far as how he looks, how he poses. Killer figure. So let's go stick him on the shelf and let's see what he looks like there. So even though Apo is a Kenobi figure, I decided not to put him in the Kenobi section of the display. I put him up here with Anakin because it's during this time period when we saw Apo. And I must say that blue is just gorgeous. I really like it. I mean, not that I don't like this other blue, you know, on these other clones from the 501st. You know, this is a gorgeous blue, this nice deep blue, you know, that we saw on the ARC Troopers and on Hawk and the 332nds. I mean, that's a nice shade of blue. But this one, man, it really, it really stands out on the shelf. So I just left him a lefty. And I am, <laughs> I'm very happy with the way he looks there. So bottom line, excellent figure. And if you want him cradling the helmet like this, you literally just have to kind of wedge it in there because he does not have horizontal hinges on either hand. Okay, they're just vertical. So he can't exactly cup the helmet underneath. You just kind of have to balance it there, but it looks good. But man, overall, this blue, I am really, really digging this shade of blue. Even though it's a little different from the other 501st Troopers that are on the shelf, it's not exactly close to them, so I'm fine with it. I mean, it is just a beautiful blue. The new body, this updated body is just slick. I love the knee pads, the upper bicep swivel, it works. Super happy with this one, but I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of Commander Apo from the Kenobi television show. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.